Hey guys, so I've got a pretty much finished word clock to show you. Um, it's almost there. Uh, there's a little bit of sort of messing around to do with some of the wiring. I'm looking at it, I know you can't see it in the picture. Um, but this is what it looks like now. Uh, so I've put it in a box, as you can see, with some printed stuff over the top. Uh, it's printed on uh, tracing paper. Uh, it's like transparent paper. I don't know what anyone else would call it, but tracing paper is good enough. Uh, printed on a laser printer. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's like a jewellery box type thing that I bought off the internet and I've partitioned it out, not very well admittedly. There are a lot of um, sort of angles in there when really it should be straight, but it looks a bit odd on the camera. It's a dinosaur there. I'm just going to close the window. The LEDs look a bit funny on camera, they look to be flickering and they also look quite dim, but I think that's the exposure on the camera. And they look quite blue as well, which I also think is the white balance on the camera. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, how it's connected. Now, a massive amount of wires coming out of this thing, which I've shortened down and put into a, a proper board. Uh, and it all goes onto the breadboard and then it goes onto the Arduino. Now the RTC, the real time clock, still attached to the breadboard and so are the resistors as well. Uh, they're 100 ohm resistors, so that's uh, black, brown, brown, oh no it's not, brown, black, 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 brown. And uh, you can see them there, they're the blue resistors. Uh, and it all connects into the Arduino using an ungodly amount of pins, which I'm not entirely happy about. I'd love to be able to find out how to do it without that many pins. I'm sure it's a shift register or something like that. but. That's a bit advanced for me, so I don't really know about any of that stuff. Uh, let me just grab the circuit board it's going on to. So this is the circuit board it will be going on to. Uh, I've put a couple of, well, a few, a few resistors on here already. It's uh, a strip prototyping board, so down the back of there's strips of uh, copper that you can cut to break the connection. So. I'll be soldering these on and then connecting the wires to it and cutting it to break the connection. I'll also put the RTC on here and uh, it will still make use of the Arduino because I don't know how to break that out onto a separate board. I'm sure there are ways of doing it. I've seen kits that you can do it with, but I don't want to go to all that effort. And I also want to program the Arduino again. So it's the easiest way is just to leave it on the Arduino and use it for whatever I want in the future. There, is a, there are a few problems with um, the RTC at the moment. The programming isn't quite working. So sometimes, in fact, is it twice a year, whenever the daylight savings time changes, the RTC won't change with it. And I don't know how to program it yet. I haven't thought about it properly. But I can solve that just by playing it back into the computer and uh, re-uploading the sketch to update the RTC, which I force it to do every time um, the sketch is uploaded. So it sets it to the upload time and date. Um, so that's it working, that's, that's pretty much it. All I need to do is transfer all of that breadboard onto here, which I will try and do soon, but it's difficult to motivate myself to do it now. The project's almost complete. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, and if you'd like me to finish this sooner so you can have a look what it looks like, then, then let me know and it will motivate me to do it. Okay, bye.